This is awkward. <laughs> oh, uh, it is, are you uh, Jason's... You're Jason's friend. <laughs> this is Brenda. This is Sam. She's my... Girlfriend. It's really nice to meet you. You too. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize who you are because he, he never, you know, told me it's... what you look like or anything. Or he actually has never told me anything about you because uh, he doesn't really like to talk. But not to me. Yeah, well, anyway, no, I, mean, I don't see any reason to, to tell you about my personal life. There's no. What are you talking no about? Why wouldn't you tell me about your personal Why would life? I? We've known each other forever. You have no problem taking away my choices. You're taking away your choices? I just thought your choices were wrong. I didn't oh, take you're going to tell you how my... wrong I am in front of your girlfriend? It's just... really nice behavior. Sam. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm are sorry. you kidding? It's okay. It's, uh, it's actually <laughs> kind of funny to see you like this. Forgive me. Uh, we're acting ridiculous. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, so, how is everything? <laughs> Where do you want me to start? I, well, how'd you meet Jason? No, you don't have to say anything. Uh, yeah, what are you talking you about? She what, doesn't what, have to tell you, you anything. What's your girlfriend? What? So, it's, it's okay. He just, he gets a little overprotective oh. sometimes. Yeah, that's really nice of him. He doesn't have to protect you from me, though. <sighs> I'm a private investigator. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a cool job. Yeah. Wow, what kind of uh, cases do you handle? Well, you know, just about anything that comes along, actually. You, pro you probably met my partner, Spinelli. He lives here. I love him. Yeah, he's, he's adorable. He's a cyber genius. You probably know my mom, Alexis Davis. I'm sure you know her. Sure. Yeah. That's your mom? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did you live at Windermere? No. Nope. Finding her was just a little bit more recent. Oh. Oh, so did you come here looking for your mom, for Alexis? Okay. Um, what? Full disclosure here, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, before I came to Port Charles, I was, um, I, I was a con woman, and I actually arrived here with Jax. And... I guess since we're putting it all out on the table, I'm just gonna get it over with. Before. Okay. Um, yeah. So after Jax, I was I was with Sunny. Oh. Uh, wow, you were with Jax and Sunny. That's amazing. Yeah. Look, Jax is the reason why I landed in Port Charles, and then I, I wound up with Sunny. I don't know how that happened. It didn't last very long. He went back to Carly. Right, Carly. Yeah. So, anyway, as, as soon as they kind of got back together, I, I found out I was pregnant. Okay, you know what, you don't have to uh, No, this one. All right, Jason, I, I kind of want to just get it out on the table, you know? It was a good thing, because I moved in here, and Jason took care of me, and we fell in love, and we were really happy. We were going to raise the baby together, but that didn't happen. Um, I lost her. She was, she was still born. I'm so sorry. That's, yeah. that's horrible. It's, it's okay. Pick up the pieces and you move on. I, uh, I kind of wish you would have told me about some of this. You know, I'm really sorry that uh, he had to come to Rome. I, I feel... No, are you kidding me? He, he needed to be in Rome. You were in danger, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I uh... I shouldn't stay here. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. I, I don't, I don't want to make you feel weird. Or no. Or you, you know, but poor Charles was my home, and so I, you know, I can find a safe place to stay that's not going to put you guys out. Absolutely not. I wouldn't dream of it. You stay here. Jason is going to protect you. He will take care of you. I promise you that. I have to go to work though, so it was very nice meeting you. Yes. Oh, so nice to see you again. <laughs> You're staying here. Why don't you ever tell me anything? Because 
Is this on your business? What are you saying to my business? You just told you everything. What, what, what do you want? What, what, what are you talking about? You just give me an order. I'm saying, why don't you ever have a real conversation with me and tell me what's going on in your life? I don't want to talk. I'm here in the middle of your life now, and I would love to know what to expect when I'm sitting in this place. Do you love Sam? Uh, it's none of your business. Are you embarrassed to answer the question? No. Then why don't you answer the question? Do you love her? Yes, I love her. You do? Mm -hmm. Will you marry her? That's none of your business either. Why? I'm your ex-wife. What does that mean? It means that you should tell me stuff. I'm your ex-wife. I'm your friend. Tell me things. Why do you have to act like you hate me well, so yeah, much? I don't much? hate you. What I, I just want to do my job so you, you can go back of? to Rome. Okay, well, good. Good. Great. Fine. Come on, let's go. Go where? I need to talk to Sonny. Why bother? <laughs> then don't. My friend Sam just walked in and she's sympathetic towards me. Besides, she's going through a lot right now, so maybe we should meet up later. Really? Yeah. Lucky okay, I'll hold a grudge. Uh, look, if you hear from Patrick or Robin, can you call me? Promise. So I see you decided to wear one of the dresses. After all, you look great. Yeah, Jason probably didn't even notice. Oh, and it gave me the much-needed confidence to actually meet his ex. You met Brenda? Yeah, just now. Uh, how did it go? Was it horrible? Um... Just the opposite, actually. She could have been kinder or, or nicer, and if I wasn't so busy making a complete idiot out of myself, I probably actually would have... Liked her. Okay, it's not like Brenda said or did anything to make me feel uncomfortable. Like I said, she couldn't have been nicer. But still, it's like I walked in in the middle of a movie where I didn't know the characters and it was really hard to follow the conversation. It was like Jason and Brenda have this really weird chemistry. As in romantic? I don't I don't think so. I mean, they weren't very nice to each other, and there was a lot of insults being thrown around. It's just, there's something under it I can't quite figure out. It sounds unsettling. Yeah, it is. Did you know Brenda when she used to live in Port Charles? Well, I was really little, so I didn't, like, know her know her. But Brenda and Robin were pretty close, so I was around her a lot. I can't say I have a real take on Brenda, but I am happy to hate her if you want me to. I'm halfway there myself. Wait, why? Spinelli. He has a huge crush on her. According to him, God made Brenda magnificent, and then he just got bored. Okay, well, just don't hate her on, on my account, because quite frankly, I don't think she deserves it, because Brenda is actually genuinely nice. It's probably just an act. No, I, 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 I really don't think so. She went out of her way to put me at ease. It's not her fault that I am totally stuck on stupid. You know what? I don't think this has anything to do with Brenda and Jason and how they interact with each other. It's how I've been reacting. I have made Brenda's presence push buttons I didn't even think existed in me anymore. Maxie, it has flipped me out and made me insecure. You know what? I'm going to do something about it. Thank you. Okay, that makes no sense at all. No, it doesn't need to make sense. Trust me, I don't need to make sense to you. I just need you to understand okay, hold on. Before that we, I have made a decision. Before and I'd we like got to go here, you said Sonny's bad for you. The whole plane ride over, Sonny's bad for you. I Why would I take you? I said you? that to you on the way over, right. but I've changed my mind. Do you I'm understand not, that I've no, changed I'm my not mind? Gonna take you and to I don't him. want to go He's see Sonny, but I need you. to go see Sonny. Uh, some could have, we could refrain from using such loud voices in yeah, front of him. I'm sorry, but this is the only way that he knows how to communicate. So, I need to go see Sonny, and I would like you to take me since you are my bodyguard. Fine. I don't care. As long as you're breathing, I'm doing my job. Good. Let's go do your Great. job at Sunny's. You know what? I'm going to have guards meet you downstairs. Take you to Sunny's. Perfect. Sunny. I would love that. Great. Let's go. He's just mad because I made him admit he has feelings for someone. We need to talk. If the Jacko just might interrupt really briefly, perhaps first Smith is still riding an, a, a wave of angry off of her encounter with Brenda, and it may be because Brenda was hitting okay, there. So that, that's not helping. Can you just give us a minute, please? Spinelli. Yes, I can. I can absolutely do that. I don't compete with other women. It's not really in my nature. I mean, you wouldn't tell it, by the way, that I'm dressed right now. I look kind of ridiculous, don't I? It's just that Jason, what, what am I? 
What am I supposed to do? There's really no rule book on what to do right now. Brenda's here. I get it. She's got to be here. But I just think there's probably only one solution. I think we should break up.